A few days ago I posted this uh, screen capture and it was just of something I'm working on. And of course all this is being rendered in real time using EV. But once you get, once this ship gets far away from the camera, you can see it start to flicker. And it basically gets really glitchy and the further away from the camera it gets, the worse it gets. Like you can see how much it's starting to flicker there and on the way down look at how much flickering there is I mean that just although it's no big deal because it, I mean this I'm just using this for preview but that is kind of annoying now somebody down in the comments uh, universe UA said you might know this but still keyframe the camera clip start value so that at the beginning it's something relatively low and you know I sort of understood what he was talking about. I'm familiar with the setting, even though I I never really use it, because almost I I almost always render everything in cycles, so I never have to deal with these kind of glitches that is caused by EV with this flickering. But I went ahead and followed that person's advice, and here's essentially the same scene. The camera is a little bit different but essentially everything else is the same and I'll put this in rendered view and here are the clip settings and you can see all these keyframes and essentially what I'm doing let me put uh, put this in solid view so you can actually see what's going on let me go to side view alright uh, Essentially, here's my camera, and I'm, um, or it, no, here's my camera. Essentially, let me turn this around so it makes sense to me, sense in my head. All right, here's my camera out here, and then you have your clip start and clip end values. Your clip start is right here. That's this point. See so if I move this. I'm moving that clip start and viewpoint. And here's your clip end, which is moving the opposite end. And essentially, uh, what that's telling the camera to do, as far as I understand, as far as I can tell, it's telling the camera to ignore everything between the camera and this point, and then ignore everything further away than this point. So essentially, the camera is only capturing what's between this point and this point what's between the start point and end point so essentially I went through and keyframed the clip point the start and end point so that it was narrow so that it's only capturing what's immediately around the ship and basically keyframing it all the way up to the very top and of course it's not perfect by no stretch of the imagination it, it if I wanted to the flickering to be completely gone then I would do I would keyframe it like every 50 frames something like that but for the most part I've done it every 100 frames and then there's a few places where I needed to add an extra keyframe but essentially that's all it's doing I'm just keyframing the area at which the camera is looking at and now if I was to put this in camera view and with the uh, real-time rendering EV turned on and watch this as it goes up the flickering should be for the most part completely gone it's still got some flickering because I mean you are talking about real-time rendering but for the most part the flickering is gone especially once you get way up like this it's definitely way better like on the down where it's starting to come back down it's still got a little bit of flickering in it but that's way way better than what it was before and it didn't really take that long to add the keyframes for the clip start and end point I mean I spent maybe five minutes on this and that was it 
and it made a huge difference and of course I've already have all of these rendered out now and if I was to uh, view this animation let it go ahead and load up <clears throat> of course my emitter is a little bit off down here but that's because I don't have my particles simulate my particles baked right now and it's not somehow or another I got it a little bit off but yeah this is what it looks like rendered of course I have an empty that's parented to the ship and the camera is tracking that empty in that empty I have keyframed and I have it uh, a noise modifier attached to it that way it slightly moves around but in relative position to the ship that way the camera has a little bit of a wobble to it but essentially this looks way better than it did before and it doesn't look much different than it does in cycles although cycles doesn't have any of this flickering issue but for real-time rendering that's not bad at all and of course if I actually had particles attached to this uh, so that it was shooting out particles to make up the thrust you wouldn't hardly notice that flickering if you would notice it all of course particles and uh, EV doesn't work that well at least I haven't been able to get it to work that well these right here without particles just like you see here um, my 3060 will render about three frames well probably about two frames per second in real time at this quality and uh, and cycles at this quality or actually a little bit better quality because you don't have this little sparkle don't have the little flicker at all um, it takes about eight, eight to ten seconds per frame and with particles in cycles it will take maybe 15 seconds but sometimes when you add particles to EV because a weird the way EV works I guess it will take longer than cycles when particles are added but I don't know why but anyway I just wanted to give a shout out to Universal UA and uh, thank them for pointing out that clip start and end point that way I can get all this working right anyway later people